So welcome everybody, my name is Bruno Flavin. I've just released an article about uh, uh, how to manipulate uh, ScreenFrog with Streamlight to make a kind of tool of automation. So basically the article is pretty long, but I'm gonna make a short uh, summary and especially present in this first video how to manipulate data through SQL uh, Lite with the help of Streamlight because that's the first brick that you need for the application. And in the second, I will present, I make a quick presentation. In the second part, I will present a more advanced scenario, which means creating a SEO dashboard with Streamlight. If you want, you can go directly to the second video, but the first video will we introduce you how to manipulate um, element with SQLite and SQL HME, which is an ORM, okay? So what I'm gonna use and leverage on uh, every, everything, I mean, all the code is available on my GitHub account and you have all the link inside and you have much more explanation if you need to, but uh, I, I like when the video will go quick, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress any of these details. Uh, just show you, I'm using Streamlight, which is a great tool to create a quick interface and uh, UI uh, for, uh, for first intelligence or artificial intelligence or machine learning but you can use also and that's the way i'm using it in a more um uh, in a more not where though but in a more specific way for, for my tools and also that improve my knowledge of streamlight i'm using sqlite which is pretty famous as uh, where well, you can discover it if you do mobile development, which is because it does not need any server. And then this is an ORM, very popular one. And also we will see in the second video how to use the command line and first of Screamlight, uh, Scream Frog, sorry, Screaming Frog. Okay, so let's go for it. Uh, so we're gonna be in this, I'm using I'm using, uh, I'm in my GitHub account, okay? I will present you quickly these two uh, projects which are there, okay? And that's because I've discovered how to use SQLite. I was not a specialist. And we will go first with this one and then we will see also the second one. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me go in the, so I'm gonna open my, I'm gonna open a, the console, and I'm gonna open also a second one for the database, and I'm gonna get there, uh, I'm gonna get, uh, like I say, I'm gonna get in the first one. Then I say, so I will be here, I will have, and I will also go with the same. You see, I'm at the same area. I'm clearing my console right here. I'm clearing my console too. Uh, what you can see is that uh, I have written everything almost everything in, so is in few of the readme. Every time you have a project, I do a readme. So what is interesting is that you, if you make Conda, if you're not familiar with Conda development, I mean, sorry, with Python development, you need to have an environment. And this environment, uh, I manage it with Conda, which is a very simple way, or Anaconda. Uh, I've made a lot of, I've made few tutorials about that. So. What I'm going to show you, I'm not going to create the environment, I'm going to use it directly, okay? So this environment, these are the environment. You have the base, which is the default one, and you see I have created a specific one, which is automated screaming frog. Uh, so I'm going to go inside it. So you will have to create it if you want. And in order to create it, I will show you how to do so. I'm going there in both even though this this uh, windows will be help will be will help the database connection um, so i'm clearing the console and if you need to know what is the requirement for the application in every application so let's go for this one you have the 
you have the, the requirement. And to produce this requirement, that means all the packages that are required for the, the usage of our application, it's just, you're just doing this way, okay? So that's this one, you see, I'm going to put it two because this was the one, the one, the file one is already existing. And then it will create a file that give you the same result. That's all the package that are required for this application to have this environment working as I have on my computer. Okay, so I'm dealing with it. Okay, so let's open this one and this one, and I'm closing the readme. So you have the database, that's the class that handles the database. It's based on a Spanish article that is available on my web, um, on my post. But anyway, that's why it's in Spanish, Ingredientes, and you have also elements in Spanish. But anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't uh, confuse you. So basically, we have created a very simple, uh, very simple database. So you have name, that's nombre, and then also you have price, that's price. Okay, and I'm going to add some stuff with the help. So we're going to go through directly to the database, so you can get there. Because I always give the path and stuff like that, and then I can launch First, I'm going to clear my console and launch it. Okay. So we will see how the application works. That's pretty easy. Um, so basically, you have this database, which is here. You see, and I can open it through. So I have already some records, but we are going to add some records. And we're going to play with this database right here. So you have the form. The form is able to get the price, the name, sorry. So that would be name, and here that would be price. Okay, and if I click on submit and then I fill up the price, then I insert it inside the database, and I can view then the data. And I have left some queries uh, below that are pretty different, so we're going to change a few things. Okay, so let's do it. So you see, there's few elements that I already show you right here, okay? And at the same time, I'm going to connect myself to the SQLite. So that would be this one. So this time, I'm going to go there. Okay, I'm going to select. That's the way you select. So that's the path to this database, okay? And I've already prepared it, so I'm going to open it. Okay. We're good. I'm going to show you that I'm in the good table. You see Ingredientes, that's the same as here, Ingredientes. So I'm in the right database. And just to show you that we have the same number of records. We have one, two, three, four, and I guess... There will be one, two, three, four, and you can see them. So we're going to manipulate this database quickly. So let's add some element. I think I'm lazy, so I have already prepared some adding stuff. Okay, so let's put and say, uh, I'm going to delete stuff, and let's put, oops, insert. So the price is pretty high. I'm going to put oranges, I'm going to put, uh, um, well, 78 in certain database. I can check that is already inside, all threadish, 378, and it's only 78 for, which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to put apple seeds, okay, and put... 56, okay, and lemon, I'm going to put 2, and I'm going to put watermelon to 1, 
can see so I have everything and my query is okay I can check with the help of ingredients so I've got everything and I can even so I don't see the change because I need to reopen to refresh the database but right here I will see all my stuff okay so if we come back to the application you see in Streamlights that's pretty easy to change element from for instance I'm changing the title and if I refresh you see the source file that change whoops sorry uh, no that's not I didn't put it at the correct one sorry that's title should be here and I'm gonna put it right here so you see that's the way you manipulate your streamline stuff and you can even because you're in the same so you see I've uh, you, you are in the same session and you can change directly the query which is pretty cool for instance I'm gonna show the price that is over let's say below three and I only have lemon and watermelon which is correct okay I let you play with this little stuff I put it back here and then we will show the second one um, we will see in the next video another uh, way of using SQL uh, SQLite in this database which is pretty the same but gives you a more maybe a more advanced usage it's a different way of programming so this is very basic it's based on the on the session and you see uh, what I've made here is I just made a function that helped me to know exactly which package do I need and which version okay Thank you for watching. I hope it's helpful. Let's see in the second video. And then we will go also for a third one that will be more about the, the SO uh, Screaming Frog manipulation. Okay? See you in a minute then. Bye-bye.